Hey everyone, it's Mark Bozon from Apple Arcade. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna take a first look at an all new game on Apple Arcade, Spider from Sumo Digital. So we're gonna jump on in, I'll show you the first level, and you can get a closer look at it before you get your hands on it for yourself. Now in Spider, you play as this mechanical spider named Agent 8, and your mission is basically to save the world. It's a 1960s throwback spy thriller, and by solving missions, shooting web, and using all sorts of different gadgets, you can thwart the super evil plans of a dastardly organization known as Sin. So let's kick things off. So we're introduced to the character, he's super cute. First mission here is called The War Room. It's kind of a tutorial for the game. Two fingers on the screen lets us look around so we can kind of pan around and look for objectives if we want. In this case, our objective is right in front of us. It's, uh, it's that printer over there, so we'll make our way over. Now, the first thing I want to point out with Spider that's really cool is uh, since you're a mechanical spider, you can really just walk all over any part of the terrain in the game. So I'm walking on walls here, walking underneath furniture. There are also some services that you can't climb up, and those are used later on to create some of the puzzles. In this case, the first step to this mission is really simple. We've got this document, and we need an unredacted version of it. So all the black bars have to go away. We need all the information to figure out what the evil organization Sin is up to in this first stage. Now, all the abilities in Spider are meant to mimic an actual spider's behavior, but with a few different twists. You'll be web-slinging and crawling around on different surfaces, as I showed you guys earlier, but this one's also super common, where you'll walk up to an object, in this case, it's a power button, and you'll press and hold on the screen and then fire a splat gun to activate the button that you wouldn't otherwise be able to reach. So yes, even in a video game, we're solving technical problems by turning them off and on again. How lovely. All right, let's skip forward a little bit here. One little thing to point out, which is kind of cool as I walk over this keyboard, all those buttons are kind of indenting, which is a nice visual touch, but it's actually something the developers use in gameplay later on. So as you're walking around, you can see there, it's like clickety, clickety, click. Um, they'll use that if you want to like later on hack different things, for example, they'll actually use it as an operational keyboard in the game, which is cool. So we've got the new ink cartridge in hand. We're going to come over and plop it into the machine and see if we can get a new version of this document printed out so we can find out what Sin is up to. So it is placed. We again use our incredible power of push button and a new document came out. So we're in good shape, unredacted. We now have the intel we need. And it basically says that they are attempting to launch a missile. Conveniently, the terminal to stop that is over here on the right. Not so convenient is that we are locked out of it. We need an ID card, we need security clearance. So we're gonna go on our way here and try to figure out how we can hack into this thing. So we'll make our move here. Oh, super quick here, just came into view of a security system. So shows an example of kind of some light stealth mechanics that happen in the game. If you get in line of sight, obviously a security camera sees you. You don't want that because you're a secret agent. So we're gonna go up and around. So objective marker off in the distance there, that's the little white numbers that are counting down. Shows the distance to where we're headed next in this case. Um, we're gonna show off another ability of Agent 8, which is the grapple gun. So you just walk up. If you're playing with touch, you just touch on the screen, which is a nice little um, interaction element. So I grapple across, and of course you can use a controller if you'd like to go that route too. All the HUD kind of fades away and it becomes a more controller-centric game. But I actually really like kind of just tapping on the screen and, and uh, interacting with the game that way. So we've got our next objective, it's to get inside of this lockbox. And there are two different keyholes. You can see one here, and then I'll walk over, you can see another one here. So we got to find those keys. Thankfully, the keys are not hard to find. They are floating off in the distance there. The first one is in that other lockbox. The second one is kind of hanging from the shelf up on top. So we'll make our way on over. Um, I like that the game plays with scale, whereas, you know, things like this, the greatest nemesis in all of spy thrillers, the hot cup of coffee, um, nearly took me out. So obviously I got to go around. All right, let's jump ahead here in the interest of time. The next step is using a built-in screwdriver mechanic. I like this one too. It's a nice mix of more touch controls. So I tap on the screw itself and then I can actually just rotate my finger on the screen to unscrew it. It's a really cool little touch. Um, again, if you want to use a controller, you totally can. You don't need to use those interactions if you don't want to. But I actually think they're done really nice and uh, they're fun. Just kind of like jump in, unscrew the screws, and we're on our way. So we are just about there to the area where we need to hack the terminal, head on through these vents. You always need vents in a secret agent movie. I think it's, it's practically required. All right, go across these reels. Oh, come on, man, no! Are you kidding me? I've been destroyed by a mixtape. There we go. All right, perfect. And we're through. Cool, so this is another example of a different type of uh, mini game they've got. This is kind of a hacking one, so we'll watch the pattern. So it went four, three, one, two. So I just have to pull them out in the same order. Don't take notes, this is random every time. And we echo it back and that short circuits the machine. So now we go back to the terminal and we can stop the launch. This is my favorite part of the game. I think this is so cool. We're basically gonna go in and do a manual override on the machine using this trackball. So 
Again, when I'm using touch, I'm moving my thumb on the screen and normally it's moving the character around. At this point, I'm moving him around, but he's on a trackball. So it's actually a way to control the computer in the game, which I think is just super, super cool. Now we can actually go into the machine and try to stop the missile from being launched using a kind of visual mini game representation of a firewall. So you're obviously not gonna code and jump in and do all that stuff. Instead, we're gonna play a fun little mini game that feels like it's out of a Atari 2600 or Pong or something. So the missiles are coming across the screen. I need to let the files through and I need to block the missiles using the trackball that moves my little paddle. So not too bad, I say, as I accidentally let one through. That's incredible. Do not ever trust me with the fate of the world. All right, we got a couple of them. We need a few more to bring it on home. And then we'll be able to stop the missile from launching and the world will be safe. All right, here we go. Final file, let's bring it on home strong. I know everybody's cheering for me on the internet land and we've done it. Data transfer complete. The launch has been aborted. So we stopped the missile from going off. But as you will see, of course it is the training level only. And turns out the entire thing was actually new employee orientation day. So all those guys are cheering for me. There was actual no threat. I'm pretty sure the coffee was still hot. So that part was a little bit scary. But outside of that, I was perfectly fine, totally safe. And they're just teaching me how to play the game. So that's Spider from Sumo Digital. Until next time, remember that you can check out over 100 awesome games on Apple Arcade. You just head on over to the App Store, tap on the joystick icon, and go save the world.